Hi everyone, my name is Anton, and today's video will be not about hardcore ML as my regular videos, but more about what is computer vision all about. And to show this, I want to introduce you to some funny projects that I met during my work with computer vision. I have been working with computer vision for the last 15 years, and during this time we have done probably more than 100 contracts for a dozen of different companies. And I built this video around like dozen of most interesting cases. Uh, of course, I will not show you most recent one because they are under NDA and so on, but I will show you some images and funny stuff that I can. One of my favorite projects, it was a robot arm that can scan objects by itself. So this arm just taking regular 3D scanner. Uh, we did this project for Artex 3D in 2016. At that time, no one had done anything similar in production. And just some regular passes, some easy pass planning. And here was like the dynamic inference around this stuff. And the exhibitions where we showed this robotic arm were always full of crowd and people around it. Uh, and always, what always amazed me is how it was possible to come up with such crazy idea to make a replacement robot for a person with a scanner. Not like the, some general idea. And definitely there was unforgivable experience with this project during CES 2017. Uh, the company that deliver uh, robotic arm hit it uh, during the delivery and during the exhibition we tried to fix how this arm will work with uh, uh, some problems in in the mechanics, we couldn't fix during like uh, we couldn't fix mechanic during the exhibition. So we just tried to fix this with code in real time during the ex exhibition. Second project is uh, we have been working with Cherry Lab since uh, creation of Cherry Lab in 2017. Uh, Cherry's light latest products were very good ma uh, made and quite logical. But the earliest one was a bit crazy. Uh, so at the first time Cherry positioned itself as a company that would become the eyes for your smart house. And the cases they show in their presentation were like, let's show how you jump over a dock. Something like this. Uh, and at this point, and a lot of delivery was like to highlight some interesting moment and some interesting stuff. And it was really crazy because no one before tried to implement technology to st stuff like this. You know, it was super interesting. Uh, the next story is, uh, was a bit challenge and it was about like uh, two years before stable diffusion came out. There were already several startups on the market that were doing virtual fitting, like virtual dress room. Uh, they were doing this in different style, like someone it was just 3D, for someone it was just uh, hard neural networks. But all the quality was not very good. And uh, one our customer uh, said, I have small amount of money, I have, I want to test idea about like, can we do something good for one product? And actually the result was pretty impressive. Uh, like it wasn't the quality, like excellent quality, but for small amount of uh, time, like less than a month, uh, in my opinion, it was great. But we decided not to move this project further because it was not photorealistic quality, but it was much better than different software from that time. So, and we decided to stop it. And in like year and a half or two years after, Stable Diffusion came out. And of course, you can make 
same stuff just with super easy mm, super easy network is that you can build in a few days and of course it's not as at, as worse interesting but at the time we tried to make it like quick good and uh, super cheap it was super interesting the next project for me was allusion on the cyberpunk credo high tech low life and a bit of context is needed here i haven't lived in russia for the last year and a half and two year almost and before that like two thirds of our project was in russia and in russia it's many cities with uh, popular transportation uh, like marshrutka it's like some city cab something between taxi and a bus in, sometimes it's called in english routed taxi cab so it's you they are usually super cheap like you can take a ride uh, around uh, i don't know 20 to 30 cents and a lot of them was used in russia probably not in the biggest city but in small city in smallest city it's pretty popular a lot of such transportations in africa asia and former soviet union of course and uh, for such marshrutkas in 2018 we were made a system uh, for counting incoming passengers uh, it was based on jetson nana and some chips camera it worked surprisingly well and it was significantly reduced thieves uh, by drivers it was super fun like uh, you want to make some part of mm, low life more efficient uh, and it, there was a lot of such project in russia back then interesting stuff i now live in, in norway and in local buses i also so installed passenger counting system something like this and i i don't think they use this specifically for uh, detect like uh, someone who doesn't buy a ticket uh, but uh, probably they use it just for statistic but judging by the cameras there it cost this system here cost much more and the accuracy should be lower because uh, the such height of installation for 3d cameras obviously can capture passengers entry all along the way under this camera so even like old system in russia was in my opinion pretty it should be much better than this local one also there was a lot of projects that didn't work out so we were discussing them but decide not to take them or like were not agreed on amount of money for this project and stuff like this uh, there was a lot of such project i counted everything from 2020 to 2022 and there was about like 200 or even more requests and among this project there was a lot of brilliant ideas uh, sometimes crazy sometimes uh, not very legal and uh, so we disline them but just a small uh, overview of such ideas first replace the flag of the international olympic union with russian flag uh, for the tv broadcast during the olympic after russia was banned for doping from it evaluate children talent on a single channel of uh, encephalogram make an automatic montage for uh, shorts from porn videos recognize when a person is lying by their facial expression mm, and my personal favorite recognize hundreds of disease from a drop of from picture uh, of drop of blood uh, this was even bigger than uh, tarana's idea uh, after i mm, talked to talked with them they even give me a book uh, about the 
approach, uh, the authors even um, included some academics of science uh, and they even perform this test in some hospital in Russia terrible uh, but they were could recognize by this blood drop like cancer drug usage and i think it was a lot of different stuff just by one image so i hope you enjoyed today video and this strange stories uh, i think i will do a different video probably about more more hard projects during these 15 years. Thank you for watching. Bye.